On my recent job in Japan, I found a nice little quartz crystal. But it wasn't until I brought it back to the office that I realised what an extraordinary find it was. Initially, it solved a bit of a mystery for us, because we couldn't understand why we were seeing comb-textured quartz in what looked like a high sulfidation epithermal system, where crystalline quartz would normally be very unusual. Then I found this outcrop, and I could see that the quartz crystals were actually infill in geodes that probably formed shortly after deposition of the host andesite, and were then overprinted by the advanced argillic alteration at some later date. One of the crystals in those geodes was particularly well formed and water clear. On closer examination back at the office, I found that it had beautiful skeletal surfaces on the termination faces, and inside was a collection of very large fluid inclusions, some of which show almost perfect negative crystal shapes. Most of them are filled almost entirely with gas, but one has a clearly visible bubble that moves when the crystal is tilted. Quartz is just such an incredibly useful mineral. Because it occurs in almost every hydrothermal mineral deposit, it develops an incredibly wide range of textures according to the conditions of the hydrothermal fluid that it grew in, and just occasionally it collects a little sample of that fluid for us to see.